Well, Minnesota already had its first brush with severe weather this month, and spring is just getting started. Some meteorologists see a high chance of tornadoes for much of the country thanks to La Nina. So how does the ocean phenomenon impact our weather? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned it begins well before our spring season kicks in. It was a storm in early March carrying ominous clouds. It's not very common to have a tornado threat this early in the season. That thankfully doesn't foreshadow a more intense severe weather season for Minnesota. But according to AccuWeather, a good portion of the Midwest, from the North Star State's southern border down to the Gulf Coast, could be in store for an active tornado season thanks to a weather pattern happening thousands of miles away. Have you heard of La Nina? I have, but I mentioned to you that was it a storm? While not a storm itself, it can lead to them in the U.S. What is La Nina? So La Nina is a uh, weather pattern that occurs over the Pacific Ocean where you have cooler sea surface temperatures um, that leads to more ridging in the Pacific. Meteorologist Melissa Dye says that cooler ocean water shifts the jet stream further north, typically leading to a cooler and wetter winter. How does this differ from El Nino? El Nino is the exact opposite. So you'll have warmer sea surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific. So we tend to be drier and warmer. Um, and the southeast United States is wetter and uh, cooler. The concern with La Nina this year stems from 2011, when experts say the weather pattern played a role in a historic outbreak of deadly tornadoes in the U.S., one of which hit North Minneapolis in late May. Two minutes after seeing it like this, it just went dark. And then it was like wind everywhere. It just happened like that. The impact of that tornado is still visible today. Large trees with thick trunks were uprooted and damaged. Their much younger and skinnier replacements now line the streets. Does it make you think tornadoes can happen again in your neighborhood or do you just brush it off as kind of one unique experience? No, I believe that it can happen again. While La Nina could mean a higher frequency of tornadoes in the southern U.S., Dye says its impact isn't as strong around Minnesota and weakens from winter to spring. For example, June of 20. 10, um, you know, that was a record breaking uh, tornado outbreak for Minnesota, and that was neither La Nina or El Nino conditions. Jeff Wagner. I would just focus on making sure that you are prepared regardless. WCCO 4 News. Chris, curious what you make of all that. Well, I always tell people focus on the next couple of days because anytime you try to forecast anything uh, beyond that, it's out the window. You do say that. True. Yeah. 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 Who would have thought we'd have big snowstorms in April and May like we've had in the past couple of years?